Can they see it? I assume they can see it now. Not good. All holding hands to the last second. Oh, she slipped. Good day everyone, this is Wings95 back with another video, unfortunately. Because if you were on my Twitter or Facebook uh, a week or two back, you would have seen uh, me mention this game. Until Dawn. You may have heard of it, you may not have. It's a PS4 exclusive game that came out about uh, two years ago, maybe? It's, so it's a reasonably old game now, but it's still very good. I have watched a playthrough for it about a year ago, so I do kind of know what's going on with it. And I have seen a couple people play uh, live. Uh, that was, uh, yeah, scary. I've never touched the controller, though, which is the worst part, actually, having to do the things. So, of course, if you don't know, this is a horror game. It is absolutely crazy. It's kind of like Telltale, in a way, where you get to kind of play your own way, and the choices that you make change the outcome of the game. For instance, there are eight characters as you play as. There is ways to make them all stay alive to the very end, and there are ways to make them all die at the very end, or any combination. Any of them can either survive or not survive. So it's pretty crazy. It's a very, very well made game. Unfortunately, it is us. So if you're not over 18, you may not want to watch this. I don't want to play it, but I said I would. So uh, let's get straight into it, I guess. Okay, that's not good. Dude with the bloody knife, that's the first thing we see. It's never a good thing oh in a game. God, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Hey, Hannah. Uh, was that two bodies? Uh, probably just passed out from the drunkenness. Well, he may have killed him. Who knows? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. I don't think they saw it. They're kind of unconscious. Josh. Oh, oh, I'm actually playing. Okay. So I don't know who I'm playing as, but uh, someone. Let's go over here, see if we can talk to them. No, they seem to be long gone. Let's have a look around the rest of the room. It's not particularly scary at the start. It's just building up an atmosphere. Now you see these, uh, I can see two of them at the moment. Two like flashing lights almost on the screen. One to my right, one to my left. They are points of interest, I guess you could say, that you can go and look at. Okay, so I can pick it up and then move it around with the right. Yep, okay, okay. Right, come on, move, move. Oh, wow, this isn't supposed to be an obstacle. Okay, Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's not good. As we just saw, uh, it seems like oh they're pranking God. her a what little bit. What did her naive sister bit. get herself into now? Okay, so I'm Beth. Uh, obviously, Hannah's my sister, uh, who's getting pranked by the rest of the group, unfortunately. Yeah, not, not particularly good. Now, where was that other thing? Use the right stick to look around. Objects can be inspected. Yeah, like that one. There we go. What is it? It's a bottle. An empty bottle. Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, can't see anything. I assume it's not beer. Maybe some sort of spirit. I can't actually work out what that is. But Jeremy Crag. 
Uh, okay, yep, interesting. Jeez, Josh. You scald the entire bottle. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Brother, okay. So, obviously, there's the two nose. sisters and the brother. Oh dear, this is Maybe not good. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Okay then. Oh, hell yeah. Okay kids, cover your eyes. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. And Matt, there's what are you Ron. doing here? Oh dear. Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just a stupid prank. Uh, Hey, you guys. Yeah, that didn't Just go down so well. Hannah. Idiots. Oh, and there goes Hannah out in the cold, the the freezing. Uh, use my sick to choose. Choose what? I'll find others or wake Josh. Uh, well, he's my bro. Surely he he's got to come help with my sister. She's Josh. gone outside in the cold with barely Josh. anything on. I need help. Okay, yeah, well that uh, worked well. Now we're finding Guys, the others. There's someone outside. It was Hannah. That what was pretty heck? obvious. But I guess she might be saying there's more than one person outside. Hannah! Yeah, it looks What's pretty cold here. Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. Well, that's, uh, that girl's really annoying. She's messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! And now she's off to find her sister out in the cold. After her, the blizzard, not good. You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Okay. Uh, so quick time oh, buttons. This is what it's looking like. Ex uh, oh. Square even. X on an Xbox controller, which I am used to. Now, where am I going? Fast or safe? Uh, fast. We gotta catch up to her. Okay, triangle. Oh, uh, what's next? What's next? Well, that was easy. I'm kind of glad I took that because of how easy it was. And now what though? We're just running out in the middle of the woods in a blizzard. Uh, uh oh. Something happened that way. Follow noise, follow footprints. Obviously the footprints. Gotta follow and find Hannah and I assume that's her uh, footprints. Well, we don't know that there's anybody else out here at this point. Okay, there's some elk I assume. We're just gonna run through the elk. Startled them away. Yeah, animals get startled pretty easily. Okay, so there are noises everywhere. Keep running, Damn Beth. It, Come Hannah. on. Where are you? Find her. She can't be much further. You've been running, and she probably wasn't running very quickly. So just keep on running. Getting out of phone. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty smart. Uh, okay. Oh, touchpad. That's interesting. Now what? Oh, it's a light. Okay, yeah, uh, easy. So I can move the uh, light with my right stick and walk with my left stick. Pretty easy. Is there some way to go a little bit faster? I don't know. I'm holding left bumper. It seems like she's going faster, so maybe it's that. I should probably... That's an elk. Ooh, good. I was going to say I should probably be shining my torch uh, like in front of me, not around. Oh, this torch is... Uh, Kind of hard to control. Oh, okay, grab that. What is it? Ah, uh, it's a totem. Uh, these things do something like a memory. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yep. Looking into the future, not a memory. Okay, so that was obviously a death totem, as it said, because somebody died, or two people. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that showed there, because it's very quick. Uh, I think I saw something in the top left-hand corner there. Something like, uh, fire? Um, obviously I do know a bit about this game. And fire is not necessarily really a good thing. Okay, now if you were walking in the middle of the woods in a blizzard looking for Hannah, would you, wouldn't you run away from fire? Surely, uh, she wasn't the one doing the fire. Okay, we found her. This is good. Okay, this isn't good. You're even more of an idiot for running outside of the house in a blizzard. You stupid girl. Now stay together. Come on, run, run, run. Don't exactly know what we're running from. But something. Okay, she tripped. That's not good. 
Are we going to see what we're running away from? Okay, drop the phone. That's not good either. We have no way of contacting anybody. And now we're at a cliff. Something. Yep, there's the cliff. Can't run any further. Can they see it? I assume they can see it now. Not good. All holding hands to the last second. Oh, she slipped. And... Oh, they're not dead, actually. They're holding on by a thread. Or even a root. And fire. Oh, and hopefully that fireman can help us. Firemen are usually pretty good, aren't they? Okay. Yeah. Look. He's holding out a hand. Grab the hand. Drop Hannah, let go. What? Drop Hannah. I want to save myself. I'm so sorry. Now, grab the hand. I knew it broke. Okay, the very last thing I did in my life was betray my sister. That's not very good. And there we go. They're both dead. A little prank amongst friends has turned into two dead. That is, uh, don't, don't prank your friends, guys. Just, just don't, don't do it. It's, it's, it's not good. Dr. A.J. Hill. Okay. So this guy is some sort of, uh, psychologist. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. I haven't actually noticed this before, but, but that's see, a Brutzy no from Prison Break. If you've seen that show. That's really cool. Control. <laughs> you have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Breaking the fourth wall a little. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Police cars. It's not good. So, you have committed to commence with this game. Unfortunately. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Terrifying. But I'm see? here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? I think things are going to get pretty upsetting, to be honest, Dr. All Hill. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. That's good. I like simple Could you exercises. Please pick up a card? What card? And I want you to that look one? at the okay. picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. If sure, it is I can do that. That you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this. Experience. I'm not sure if I want to get the most out of this experience. To be honest, I just want to get through it. Okay, can can I? Yep. Okay, looking down, picking it up, a gloved hand, so we don't know who we are, and it's a scary photo of a farm. Okay. Yep. Cool. No, I saw it. That that's that's enough of looking at that. So, how? Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Of course, of course, Doctor. Uh, it do It makes me feel very uneasy, to be honest. There's eyes okay. in the corner, and honest there's a scarecrow. Is, it it doesn't make me feel good at all. What is that makes you feel uneasy? Can I, okay, I'm not sure. The scarecrow? No, I mean, it's a farm. I'm... I, I'm not really, uh, I live on a farm, so I'm not really afraid of scarecrows, to be honest. It is something make you feel uneasy. Well, sometimes, I mean, uh, presences is are just there. A house? That's not a house, that's a barn. I doubt anybody but cows and sheep live in that. Huh. And even then, only like six months so, a year, so... If it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? I think we're getting warmer, Doc. Can it be in the field? It's in the field. Yep, I'd say that's uh, in the field. The eyes. Ooh, here we go. I see. And is this threat <clears throughs> human or is there some other fear that you have that you would it like to talk to me doesn't about? doesn't look like a human, to be honest. No, no, I wouldn't say it's human. No, definitely not. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Yeah. Humans you can kill well, well, easily. Perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next. Oh, I was enjoying that, Doctor Hill. We no, out of time. That's unfortunate. I like that. I wasn't scary at all. We had a good question time. Cool. Bye, Brutzy. Wonder where we are. It's uh, it's a little creepy. Can can we leave now? Please. He's got his cup of tea. We ran out of time just so he could walk to the uh, window 
and grab a cup of tea. Well, that was uh, Sony Computer Entertainment. Okay, then. Obviously, they make most of the PS4 exclusive games. Pretty good. There we go. Until Dawn. You'll uh, find out that the two words there, Until Dawn, do actually mean quite a lot in this game. They don't sound like they mean quite a lot. I mean, Until Dawn. What, uh, what does that even mean? It's quite weird, but... It means a lot, trust me. So as we watch through these credits here, I will end that video there. We got through the first part of Until Dawn. We didn't get too scathed, and it went pretty well, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's actually pretty good so far. I hope we get up further one day, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. Please remember to comment down below as well if you did actually enjoy this game. So, thank you all for watching, and cheers everyone.